so far we've been thinking about application design both in mobile but primarily in web terms. And from here on out we're going to be talking about mobile design for this class and in future classes. So I just want to kind of reorient your brain very briefly in this video and some of the successive videos about how we think about mobile design versus web application design uh, or website design. All of those things are a little bit different and uh, I'm going to use the simulator application within uh, Mac OS to kind of play around with an iPhone. So I have an iPhone X right here. I think it's actually an iPhone XR and we have uh, the notifications up at the top near the notch. This is sort of a new feature but universally cell phones have notifications at the top, right? We indicate battery power, things like that. And at the bottom we have our most commonly used applications. Um, we also have this indicator to show us what page we're on. And essentially all of this is used uh, because of how we hold phones. Because we hold phones either in our right or our left hands. Uh, our thumbs generally rest at the bottom and we typically navigate phones with one hand. Occasionally we use two hands. In fact, it's quite interesting if you go back and watch um, the like 2007 iPhone presentation video, Steve Jobs uses two hands to interact with his iPhone as he's presenting it because basically um, the whole paradigm for how we interact with phones hadn't quite been determined yet. Uh, but anyways, now in 2018 or 2019, we have uh, our thumbs primarily as our main interaction device and we're very like native with that. We really understand that. A lot of mobile design is reliant on you using your thumb in kind of the bottom half, and in particular the bottom right half or bottom left half of the screen. I'm kind of drawing an invisible line here with my uh, cursor. It's quite difficult to actually reach up higher with just your thumb. Go ahead and take out your phone for a second, hold it in your hand like how you normally do, and if you try to reach up with your thumb, it's quite difficult compared to easily scrolling uh, anywhere in this kind of region. So a lot of the mobile design revolves around that as we're going to see in just a second. I'm going to actually use the settings app on iOS uh, as a kind of example. So I'm going to tap settings. What happens is it pulls up this settings screen. Let me hit back because this is our default screen. So the first thing we notice is we have a bunch of different entries here that all have these little arrows. These little arrows inherently tell us that whenever I tap these, an animation is going to occur where the screen is going to pull to the left, from right to left, and it's going to open up a new window. I'm going to tap general and we'll see that. See, so it pulled from left to right, almost like pieces of paper. Each one of these does that. So if I tap general and then I tap about, we have that as it keeps, as it keeps sliding new pieces of paper into the screen, new screens for us to view. Scroll down. I'm using my thumb here, acting like I'm using my thumb, I'm actually using my mouse. So if I tap maps, it's gonna open up the map settings and I can scroll through this. Now they place the back button in the far upper left-hand corner so that we don't accidentally tap the back button, but also it creates this sense of like, almost like a table of contents. So I'll just tap back and notice that settings shrinks and grows based on the page that we're on. We also have a heading, this general appears up here whenever we tap it. And there's this, this fact that we can scroll a little past it and it'll snap back. So it really tries to keep everything centered in the page. So that's the settings app, which is very basic. Let me go back to the home. This time I'm gonna to go to the health app. So in the health app on iOS, I'm gonna see that bottom half design works as well. So we have these buttons down at the bottom, uh, the primary buttons that we're gonna be tapping like health data, sources, medical ID, things like that. And as we tap through these, it's going to bring up different menus. Once we're in the health data menu, see we can scroll with our thumb very easily, tap these big icons, these are the most commonly used icons, and then we have some smaller icons, again with that, that same arrow design. So if I tap activity, it's gonna swing it over, I can tap this to play a video. So it's just thinking about how we touch and interact with the screen and this use of almost like pages is very, very significant whenever it comes to mobile app design versus something like web app design where we have links. Instead, we want this to feel like you're existing within a single application and not jumping back and forth between a lot of different ones, unlike a website where 
you know, you might click a link and it takes you to a completely different area that you're not familiar with. Uh, this is very, this is a very, very different user experience.